South Africa needs to intensify innovation that will solve its various crises. Businesses are bearing the brunt of the economic impact of the electricity shortage. That's why the Council for Scientific, Industrial and Research is aiming to empower small and medium-sized businesses as new technologies emerge around renewable energy and resources. To find out more about this program, I'm joined virtually by Aradna Pandarum, the CSIR's Acting Research Group Leader for the Energy Industry. And she joins us from here in Johannesburg. Uh, Aradna, thank you so much for your time this evening. You know, anecdotally, for the last few weeks, so many people have been talking about how they are seeing the very real uh, economic impact of this latest very uh, intense round of load shedding or power cuts that we've been experiencing. Uh, so many businesses that you go into, uh, uh, photocopying businesses. I'm sorry, we're offline right now. Uh, power cuts, we don't have a generator. We can't make photocopies for you. We can't make a cappuccino for you. Our machine isn't working. There are no lights in a very big grocery store. And the list just goes on and on and on. And you start getting is the sense that something has got to give and you are saying that all is not lost we are here to try and help especially smaller businesses try and put one foot forward when everything seems to be pushing them back tell us about this program so at, at the CSIR, me and my team are busy with what is called the Just Energy Transition Research. And basically, we are trying to find out how to make the energy transition from coal or a coal-based e economy to that of a low-carbon economy. And what that brings is it, it brings social and economic impacts, and those impacts need to be understood. From those impacts, we need to understand what opportunities we can actually lend to South Africa to Im increase the economic development and enterprise development in South Africa. So one of those opportunities that we've identified is to actually empower small, medium and micro enterprises in the energy industry to be able to advance and use this new technology that is going to be emerging from this energy transition and leverage off the opportunities that are going to be created by um, the, the energy transition. So we know that South Africa actually uh, the SMMEs in South Africa actually employ over 50% of the employment uh, community in South Africa and we know that if we help them with the, the right technical knowledge and the right technical capacity we, we are able to actually create more opportunities and unlock more growth in terms of employment opportunities in South Africa as well. Can you give us an example of what that kind of opportunity would look and sound like? So in terms of the research that we are con conducting, we basically look at what technologies would be implemented in South Africa from a policy uh, point of view. So you use the integrated resource plan to indicate how much of capacity for, for example, solar, PV, uh, photovoltaic uh, technology would in introduce into the system. And within that solar PV value chain, we try to, op we try to identify what opportunities the SMS MMEs can actually leverage off. So at the moment, we, 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 found it that, we found that it's very clear that SMMEs are actually finding it difficult to navigate in this new technology realm. Um, because technology is also advancing at a rate that it never has before, I think, you know, the access to technology or uh, information is, is lacking in, in the sense, in terms of identifying and, and providing that information to SMMEs. So what the CSR wants to do is actually empower the SMMEs to provide that information, to, to identify and tell them, this is the value value chain, for example, of solar PV. This is the value chain for wind. And within these, these value chains, these are opportunities for enterprise development. And once we've identified that overview, we also there to uh, create technical incubation services um, as part of the CSR, using our technical experts in the CSR to actually allow them to move from one stage in their enterprises to the next stage. So in terms of technical incubation, that that period would probably be a 12 to 18 month period and we would identify SMMEs who will form part of that program and we would then technically incubate them or provide that technical expertise for them to uh, move to the next stage in their, in their enterprises. Who are the types of SMME candidates that you would be looking at involving in this incubation period? 
So for now, um, we are limiting it to um, uh, past startups. So uh, it, it would not uh, include startup businesses for now, but this is a very uh, long program. It's envisaged to be a five-year program uh, as a first phase. And then that would obviously evolve as technology evolves as mm -hmm. well. So um, we would then identify partners uh, using a proper interview process and a proper ad advert process. Um, at the moment, everything is, I think, more focused towards Mpumalanga because uh, Mpumalanga is going to be the most hard hit by the energy transition. Mm -hmm. All our Almost all our coal-fired power stations are in Mpumalanga. And because we want the energy transition to be just and and that is where the, the core actually is. We want to focus in Mpumalanga as a first start as well. Yeah, because I suppose the big call uh, uh, has been that uh, you, you can't just decommission mines. Uh, what about the people who lose jobs? Uh, but there needs to be education around the fact that with this transition comes opportunity. And that's at the core of what you're trying to put out there, isn't it? Yes, and actually in, in an, a capacity building event that I was part of last week, I actually found that the people in, in the communities and the enterprises in Mpumalanga are actually unaware that these things actually exist. Mm. They don't know what technologies are going to be emerging. They, do, they have no idea about mm. what the just energy transition is. Um, you know, we've been talking about it for a very long time and everyone knows that we need to be decommissioning coal-fired power stations. We have renewable energy independent power producer programs that's gone to bid window five already and none of these uh, bid windows have actually implemented a solar or wind program in Mpumalanga mm. and that is very scary. If you want to have an energy transition you need to be able to cater for the people who are actually going to be the most affected and the coal region is Mpumalanga mm. so we need to focus there and our efforts need to actually start there. A very interesting point there, and we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. That was Aradna Panduram from the CSIR. And I'm sure if you want any more information about that incubation program for SMEs in the renewable space, you can just go onto their website uh, for their contact details.